Toys R Us in the USA has been selling the Hot Wheels Super 6-in-1 starter sets for over 10 years. This set here has a copyright of 2009 and came with these two models. You can see the Kid Picks only at Toys R Us logo on the box. They call it Super 6-in-1 because it makes six different track layouts. We're going to take a look at each of them today. You might find the set with different cars or different packages, but the contents I've always found to be the same. Since this box here is over five years old, those are the play sets that they were promoting at the time. I've done reviews of other starter sets. Here's one. And I'm also going to do a review on the 10-in-1 super set in a separate video. Maybe you've seen some of my other videos and you've seen a track like this with the yellow, two yellow stripes. Or maybe you've seen this one with silver sidelines. That's where I got these from. They came in the Super 6 and 1 sets. I would go to Toys R Us and I would keep scanning the prices. Hello. I would keep scanning the prices and when it go on sale, I'd buy another box. Sure enough, there you go. There's the silver side rails. So that's how you know I got my parts from Super 6 and 1. What's the other reason I love Super 6 and 1 sets? That part right there. You have a base for your loops. So this way you can get a, a book or some weights and you can hold your loops down. This is the part I like. My set had two models. Power Pistons, a fantastic track car. But it also had Greased Lightning. I don't know, it's got those big open sides. The back of the box had a green 24-7. So we're going to use the same green 24-7. Another problem, I don't know, 24-7 doesn't go through the loops very well, but they show them going through the loops. The other model on the back, Pony Up. I have a similar color, but mine has a stripe. Going around the curve, we have Ballistic. So I'll use a blue Ballistic. But as far as side draft, I couldn't find my version here. So I'm going to use this one. This is the Highway 35 version of side draft. There's a sticker for you to decorate your track and boosters. I'm only going to decorate the boosters. After a while, these kind of get dirty on the track. You can see the booster right there. And then I realized, hey, this is an older style booster. It has the foam. And I, to be fair, I'm doing this review in 2014. That's a 2009 set, five years old. So I went down to Toys R Us. This is the current version that is at Toys R Us in 2014. You see right there, Kid Picks. Toys R Us Super 6 and 1. You can't see the two cars. It says two Hot Wheels cars included. I wonder if we're going to get El Super Fasto. And there, once again, we got Power Pistons. But in a curve, Fast Fish. I'm going to grab a Fast Fish for us to use. And there's your So Fast. The back of the new box. Let's see. Hey, it's the same. Look. Over there. Right there. You have Pony Up. Hey, he's in the same spot. Look in the loop. 24-7. Use the same M. Hey, where'd the kids go? Just like it showed on the box, got power pistons and L super fast though. But I'm gonna show you something that happens with this track. Even though it's kind of neat, it's got the silver side rails. I think that the two colors being combined, the two colors of the plastic, as you can see, the track's bowed. And this does cause a problem with your track sometimes when you're set up because obviously if a car is coming out of the booster too fast, it flies through the air as it goes over this hump. And the boosters, exactly the same. Sticker sheet, nothing changed. Here's all the parts from the 2009 set and they are exactly the same as the current 2014 set. Actually, now that I have the cars loose, I can look on the base right here. You see a production code of D48. And this one has a production code of E27. D is actually 2011. E is 2012. So the box set that I have isn't, it has a copyright of 2009, but it actually was from 2012. There are two types of connectors in this set. This one here can connect track or it's to connect these coasting curves I call, because they're kind of flat. They're not high speed curves. Just put it together, and that's how you make the coasting curves. As far as this one here, it's for the loops, and the loops are, loops are harder plastic. This snaps together. And you see these spots right here? That's how you make your different loop set, setups and your different layouts. 
snap it right in and then you take your loop and you just connect it on these the layout displayed on the box is actually number three on the box and it's the first one that they have you set up right here you have the grid from the base there's numbers number one through 18 for all the holes and they are on the base as well so it makes it very easy to set up in my previous shot i showed you i connected the loop up there but actually number one is going to have the loop go straight in and straight out it is not a curved loop not every piece is going to use every set that's why you see these three pieces not being used another thing you should do is to brace your set now if you have books or if you can tape it to something I used to I like to use these weights because it's easy for me to stabilize the setup let's go ahead and turn it on and let's give greased lightning greased lightning a shot first Hey, he works pretty good. I didn't think it was going to work that good with, with that open side. Let's go ahead and try out power pistons. You can tell he works a little better because he's coasting at a better speed right here. Now let's try ballistic. Side draft, upside down draft, oh you got stuck, even though they show him on the box he's not working good in this layout, 24-7, I don't know if he's going to do well in the loops, he's got this spot right here but they show him in the loops on the back. See, he lost speed because he dragged in the loop. Pony up. Uh, uh. Need more power. You're so fast. He's fantastic. <laughs> Look at him go. That's you're so fast. How about fast fish? Let's see if we can get you're so fast and fast fish at the same time. Space them out a little bit. Give the booster time to speed back up. <laughs> you're so fast. Caught up to them already. That's two. How about we get three power pistons? Hey, that's a really good layout. How about Grease Latin? And he came with the set. Four? Ah, three. That's pretty good. Let me let me make the next layout. The next one we're going to set up is number two. It's number four on the box. This time you can see the loop is actually on top of that bridge. Pretty neat. I think they need to pack your so fast with this set. I'm sure consumers would be very happy. See, he drags in the loop. Go 
Oh, if you're gonna do more than one car, you wanna spread them out. You don't wanna push two at the same time. You gotta give the booster a chance to speed back up. Number three, it's the fifth one shown on the box. You're probably going to find that the setups where the, the booster goes straight into the loop and the loop is a straight continuing of the track, these will perform better. If this curves, you'll find that you lose a little speed in the loops. Because this one's straight, I expect this one to work very well. Nope, not so good. Bye bye. Two left, 24 7. And side drive. Oh, sorry, sorry. My fault. More. Hello, I need a tow truck. Okay, next setup. Don't go away. We still have to do setup number four, five, and six. Were you hiding? Number four. That one is actually number two. This is what I was talking about. Sometimes this type of loop set up to where it goes straight in and then it like goes to the side. I'll, I call these corner loops. Because it's almost, you can see the corner right here, right? See this corner? Or this this corner right here? This corner? I call these corner loops because it makes like a 90 degree angle. Sometimes the cars rub on the sides in the curve and they slow down. So really only the better cars are going to work this time. We know you're so fast is good. You also see another thing I did? I brace the corners. Look over here, I put something to prop up the corners. And then over here too, you see how I put something to push on a, this keeps it nice and tight and it's not flipping around. Now if you don't have a weight or something to hold it, you just use a book. You can find something, right? A little bit slower, probably because of this little loop. They drag on the inside as they're going around. So far, You're So Fast is the only successful model. You see it lifting up like this? Uh, my little thing popped out of the hole. Let me push that down. There we go, tighten it up. There you go. 24-7. I just let him out because I know he's not going to make it. Go! Oh, he fell out of the loop. Let me push this down again. Yeah. He definitely has problems with this setup. So while this layout works, it's only going to work with your best cars. Fast Fish, can you give us an exciting finish? No! I guess you're so fast. Absolutely the best so far. If I can get my thing to stay in there. 
I probably should prop this up. If I prop this up, that'll help keep it down. Oops, sorry. Go ahead and we're going to add this. This right here, underneath the curves, we have a spot. I don't know if this one does. Yeah, actually, these connectors right here, they have a little spot like this. So I'm going to pop it in. Let's see, maybe this one. Maybe you're so fast to do better this time with it being more solid. Too high. Ballistic. Ah, too high. The fifth layout. This one's nice. Has nice long running roads. That's number six on the box. Here we go, nice figure eight. Long straightaways. Let's see how this corner curve holds up. Let's go ahead and start with side draft since it has the nice long straightaways. Maybe that'll help him out. Actually, he has a low front end like 24-7. Maybe that's why he's not doing so well. Could be the curves. He's a longer model. Oh, let's try. Sometimes the longer models, they drag on the side when they go through the curves. Ballistic, even though he has long sides, does all right. Doink. Doink. Is it coming up again? Yeah, it popped up. Hang on. Okay, I did some adjusting. I took the one that was over there and I swapped it for this one. Maybe that one has a better grip. Hopefully it's not the hole that's wearing down. We're going to let these three guys have another shot. Go, go. Help, I'll help. I'll help you. Two, three, come around, four, all right. Can he do it? Ah. I'll help. Mom, can you give me a push? Mom! Mom, can you give me a push? And the last one in the instructions, number six. That one's, that's a pretty wild design there. That's the first one that they show on the box. It only takes a few minutes to break it down and make the next setup very easy. Like I said, this corner loop, when you have this type of setup, it is difficult for the cars. Especially 24-7. I'm not sure if he even works in the loops that well anyways. Well, he was successful. Sorry, side draft. We already know he's probably going to fail over there. He'll be lucky to make it to the loop. Good night, side draft. Greased Lightning came with the set. I was not expecting him to, to work so well. You can hear a little nick, so we need we need to adjust this a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at him posing for that shot. 
By the way, if your if your vehicle is Nick the track, if your vehicle is going this way, you want to make sure you pinch the track on this side, make it narrow. Nope, sorry, pinch it on this side and flare it on the other side. You want it more narrow on this side so that it doesn't nick the edge of the next piece of track. I haven't had that problem today, but if you do, pinch and flare. Good night. Bless Dick. Power Pistons. And the star of today's video, you're so fast. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Super 6-in-1 track set from Mattel's Hot Wheels. Been around for a long time. It's what I use for my parts for my track layouts. And you can make your own custom layout at home. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.